Hey guys, it's Smitty here. Thanks for tuning in and welcome back. So today we are back in Valheim and we're going to cover my recent temple build a little more in detail. So I built this kind of overgrown uh, temple structure. We, we'll call it Freya's Temple um, recently. And I did a pretty cool cinematic of this, but today I want to cover it a little more in detail and just show you some of the different techniques uh, and different build methods we have going on here. Hopefully give you guys some ideas for yourself. Um, so without further ado, grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's get right into it. So we'll just go ahead and we will enter the free fly mode here just to, so we can get around nice and easy. Uh, we'll start up here in the front. So, well, actually, let's get a good overview of what this build actually is. So it's kind of like this harbor temple-like structure that uh, I try to make a little more overgrown like it had been forgotten there's some you know worn stones and some pebbles to try and make it look it's like it's again like worn down um again it's it's all circled by this wall that goes around and there's kind of these circular like bastion not really towers um that kind of have this woven technique and then a larger one and then there's trees uh kind of integrated in the middle of these and I don't know, I think I kind of had the idea that this temple maybe integrated nature with some of its structures and wanted to try to do that as well. But as you can see, again, we have the walls that go all the way around, um, a nice little arch pattern in which we just space it out. I mean, the base is really just those stone foundations, but then we use the stone arches just to create, uh, you know, kind of an interesting pattern for like a walkway or a wall all the way around. and. It's what creates this kind of sheltered harbor that you would, would enter into and um, had to make it up at a point here. One, it just looks kind of cool, but two, uh, we had to be able to fit the ships that, that come through. But I love the, the way that the design worked on this, to be honest. it's um, I like having this big design on the front. I think it's kind of bold and um, it's just a good centerpiece for an entrance. And to be honest, I love the way that the double, the double arches here I love that geometry that that creates, but just had to do some uh, fiddling around. Also had to use the uh, the wood iron beams just to brace some of this higher stone structures because it is pretty deep when uh, you know building from the ocean. So I I did have to raise up the the water level here. If we go down, take a look, um, just because. I wanted it one as high as I could go so I wouldn't have to build up the stone super high because these don't have super high um, stability, at least not without the stone braces. So I definitely wanted to do that and just kind of build it build it up. Um, and, and as also, another reason is, so I do have like, as you can see, like these kind of like golden spruces that are placed at the middle of all these kind of like bastion, like, tower areas but also th these trees actually sink down past anything you build into like the highest part of the where the ground is so for instance this one even though i spawned it in it fell all the way down i wouldn't i couldn't i couldn't prop it up anyway so that one's a little janky but i definitely had to keep the pattern going here but as you can see so for these i didn't actually use like the cross beam piece to, to create this pattern. What it actually is, is it's the single diagonal beam, but there's actually two layers that are going in two different directions. And that's what gives us the kind of the basket weaving look here. And it's something that we repeated over here at a much larger scale um, at the, in the main building here. But as we come into the actual harbor, it's just kind of this stone approach. I love the look of having this big landing area with a lot of different uh, you know, stone stairs going up. Um, it's almost like something you would see in like, like maybe like Rome or something like that. So definitely love the way that looks. I love how, you know, I, again, I wanted to make this thing seem like, again, like a forgotten temple. Like it was, you know, you can still see that it was, it's grand and it's beautiful. But, you know, we have no one's really been here for a long time, and it hasn't been taken care of. So as you can see, we have the crumbling stone. We have you know, some pillars and stone in the water. 
Maybe it's kind of crumbled away and fell in. And then we also spawned in um, some vines, which I figured figured out you can actually spawn in. And fortunately, these vines only spawn in in one direction. And I cannot figure out how how these how to actually turn these, or even if you can. Um, so just kind of had to be a little strategic about it, about where I was going to place these, um, just to make sure it looks organic and real. And you know, I don't think you really notice that it's all in the same direction. Um, typically, I feel like in real life, vines will only grow on one side anyway because it's probably close to where the sun is. So I guess it, it might make sense in that way. Um, yeah, and then we just have a kind of chain of arches here, which I just thought made for a really interesting entrance. Um, just a grand entrance, to be honest. You know, you, you flow in here on the boat, and I think it just looks so nice with the vines and the stone and... Uh, the vines also serve as a nice little breakup from all the stone. Like, so initially when I built it, it was basically all stone. We didn't have any of the wood or the vines, and it just it seemed a little too much. And we needed a little bit more diversification of materials and colors and things like that. But love the vines, love the green of the banners too. I think the green just made sense because we were kind of in like a forest. It's it's a temple that you know, integrates and implements trees and different parts of nature with it so um again i think it makes sense so if we work on or over towards here this is kind of like the main main event main main area and and i wanted to seem some like some kind of ancient tree or like elder tree or you know a, a tree of significance right and so i used basically what these are these are the um the frost resist means actually and then i just used the item placement stands in a like spiral going up so for this nice glowing ambiance we actually use the crypt keys or the i guess the swamp keys um, they just have the the nicest and probably the largest like blue glow and i thought it really fit with these uh blue frost resist uh meads as uh, as lights so i think that worked quite well again just going back to the structure and this kind of like dome like basket weaving um, semi roof, I guess it's not a total roof, but much like the smaller bastions over here, um, we just kind of replicated that technique on the larger building. So there's actually two layers of beams here. So there's one, um, one in front right here, and then there's just one slightly behind. So as you can see, there's one there, one there, and we have we didn't again we didn't use the like the, the cross the cross pieces. We used the diagonal pieces and they're each going two different directions so on one layer we had them go right and then on the back layer we had them go left and it took some finagling just to get the uh kind of the pattern right to make sure that we had um you know the dome-like structure and um but it worked and it really looks cool when you when you get the pattern right really pleased with how that worked out we just have uh, you know some other decorative pieces here, uh, some of the hearths which we didn't leave lit. Um, you know the I, I, it was kind of a, a, a intentional decision here. I was thinking should I light them or not, and I decided you know we are going for kind of an abandoned, forgotten temple, so it wouldn't really make sense if we had all these like lights going right. Like who's who's running that? So we decided to uh, leave that leave that off. So we do kind of have like this staging piece here. Uh, maybe this is like the, the the treasure of the like temple or something like that. Maybe this is Freya's bow or something like that. Um, but I think it just adds to the story that we have going on here. Like maybe this is kind of like the sacred weapon that is hidden within like the temple. And so maybe you you sail in and this is this is the treasure, right? And so I love making builds that have kind of a story or some sort of or at least make you wonder what the story is, right? And uh, I think we were able to do it here. Um, you know, just kind of with like the overgrown feel we have going on. Uh, definitely continue throughout this build. And I really love how it worked out there. And just to give you guys like a sense of the scale of this kind of circular building, basically it's four, like four blocks long on each each rotation, so it's one, two, three, four, rotate in one angle, one, two, three, four, rotate in one angle. And that's basically how we did it. And this is 
If you do that all the way around, you should get a circular shape, and that, that's essentially the scale that we used for this building, and then everything's based based off of that. But there you guys have it. So we used some you know, different techniques. Um, wasn't the most traditional buildings. Um, experimented with some different weaving. It took a while, mostly because we just, if I'm gonna be honest, the stone stairs probably took the longest amount of time. Um, but, oh, looks like we're gonna get some rain here. No, definitely not the most traditional build. These buildings are, are, are a little bit different, but we got to experiment with some different techniques and really love how it worked out there. Actually, it looks kind of cool in the rain, to be honest. Kind of kind of spooky. It's the, it's the ambiance. But hopefully you guys are enjoying these builds. If you are, please make sure you like, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next ones. Thanks.